Hi, I'm Seth with Taylor Adhesives, and today we're going to talk to you about the importance of taking a good job site photo. You know, as a flooring installer, one of the quickest and easiest ways to help promote and build your business is to take good job site photos that you can use online, social media, however you need to, to promote your craft and showcase your handiwork. So I'm joined by a professional photographer who's going to walk us through a couple of basic things that can really be impactful when you're taking that job site photo. Skylar, thank you for being here. Thank you, Seth. So, so Skylar, walk me through, if I'm a flooring installer and I've just finished my job, before I leave that job site, I wanna capture some photos so that I can show what I've done. Yeah. So what's some of the best ways I can do that in a, in a meaningful way, but also an easy way? Well, the first thing that you wanna do that might get overlooked sometimes is just clean up. You know, sometimes mm. you can have your tools or equipment in the frame on your job site. So just kind of clean up before you even take the picture. Okay, that's a good one. Now also, these job sites or, you know, can be dirty sometimes and there's dust flying around. So it's also important to take a look at your lens and make sure that that's clean as well because that can actually ah. affect the outcome of the picture. So part of cleanup isn't just my job site, but it's my lens. Yes, correct. Got it, okay. So now I've cleaned my job site mm -hmm. and I've cleaned the lens on my camera. So I'm off to a good start, but what do I do next? Well, to take a good picture, you don't always need a fancy camera. You can use your phone. Okay. One of the important things to keep in mind though is your composition of the shot. Okay, can you explain composition? Yes. So composition is what shows up in your frame and how you choose to frame up your shot. Okay. Now, something to keep in mind is whether you would like to shoot vertically or if you would like to shoot horizontally. So when would I pick? Vertically would be good for if you're in a hallway and it's long and narrow. Horizontally might be good for if you're in a big space like a lobby or a big conference floor and you wanna really show off the wide space. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So what other, what other tips should I look for? Another good thing to keep in mind is the grid lines. Now grid lines are three lines, it's like a big hashtag that shows up over your camera screen. Okay. And that can help you frame up your shot. And if they're not on, you can turn them on in settings. Okay. A good rule of thumb is to keep about two thirds of the bottom grid lines, save it for your floor. Okay. And that makes sense, because obviously that's what I'm showing. Exactly. In photography, okay. subjects typically a person or a thing, and in this case, the subject is the floor that you just finished installing. Yep. Well, Skylar, those are all great tips, and thank you for being here. And we just want to remind you to check back with us to follow up for even more tips and get more in depth about taking good job site photos. And remember, at Taylor Adhesives, we're with you every step.